Hey guys, coming at you with another video, and one thing that I wanted to discuss today is a pretty important topic, and it discusses what do I do when I'm stressed out? You know, what do I do when I'm anxious? And the last few days, like, it's been fairly stressful for me. Um, Job-wise, it's just been extremely stressful, and I, you know, yeah, I definitely feel a little more anxious. I can feel my anxiety levels rising. I can feel the symptoms coming on. And it's not great. It sucks. It doesn't feel good, but it's going to happen. Like, it's not like it's inevitable. Or not inevitable. Whatever. It's going to happen. Let's put it that way. And so, you know, I deal with a dry mouth, a little bit of a sore throat, because all the muscles are kind of tightening there. Um, a little bit of tingling, stuff like that. And it's just, it's frustrating. I just really... And that feels like you can't breathe. It's classic anxiety symptoms. Um, the biggest thing here is just slowing things down. Like, obviously, well, it's gone. We're heightening things up. I'm starting to kind of breathe in more than I'm breathing out. And it just starts to... Anxiety cycle starts. So... Well, the big thing is, is like, I do like a, a three, four drill, which is in for three, out for four. The biggest thing is getting the air out. It's exhaling and exhale is huge and kind of regulating your breathing. It tells your mind that, you know, everything's okay. It slows everything down. Let's put it that way. Um, it slows down your heart rate, kind of slows down your vital functions. Basically makes it so you don't, you're not like, you're trying to tell yourself that you're not very anxious. Um, another thing too is, is really the biggest thing here is to get your mind off of it. I get anxious and when I struggle the most is when the mind is fixated on something it doesn't need to be fixated on. It continues to fixate on the symptoms. You know, I've, I've really done a lot better and a lot of us do this and I really encourage you not to is you just Google all these symptoms and stuff like that. It's pointless, it's meaningless, it's not going to help you at all. It's going to tell you that you're dying. And I know that I've been over this before, but it's very, very important to understand that, um, you know, we gravitate towards that. That may give you a little reassurance, but for the most part, it's going to make you go crazy. And so to that, I mean, I stay away from that, but I really try to get my mind distracted. Do something exercise worth. I do something entertaining, you know, maybe even video games. Um, talk with my parents, go out with friends kind of thing. Because in that moment, in that moment, it's just like, you're not thinking about it. You're not, at least, it helps. It definitely helps. Sometimes it's tough to make it go away because you're just going to be anxious. But for the most part, um, I actually thrive in these conditions because I'm able to um, kind of understand that you know, and this is why I've gotten a lot better that I just am able to brush things off a little bit because I'm just, I kind of look at the symptoms and I'm just like, okay, we've dealt with this for days kind of thing. Like, uh, this isn't anything severe. It hasn't progressed into anything more severe. It's just been the same old song and dance. So, fact of the matter is, there's nothing really that wrong. I just need to kind of carry on until it, it basically just fades away because the mind isn't fixated on it. The symptom kind of goes away. And so that's been the case and that's what really has helped me and propelled me to make me better is the fact that I know that a symptom will go away as long as I get my mind off of it um, another thing too one huge thing is meditation really helps um, meditation especially on your commute and stuff like that I found has really helped me in times of being anxious and for the main sense of symptoms of dry mouth and issues. You know, obviously, sipping on something helps. Chewing gum. Um, that's kind of the main thing. And as far as like not breathing, like just really trying to, to like turn those negative thoughts. Like you'll get those negative thoughts. Like, oh my God, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. To where the point's like, okay, well, I'm you know, here we go again kind of thing. It sucks, but you know, I'm, I'm going to be fine. Like, it's, it, it's going to change. It's going to go right back to where I was. Like, the difference there is just, like, you don't care. You don't give it validity. 
because two negative thoughts, the biggest thing is to not give things validity. Validity. I'm going to do terrible. Well, I'm probably not going to do terrible. Um, I, based off of how I've done, I probably should do pretty good. Like, those kind of thoughts spin things, and I, like, feel better by saying those kind of things right now because, like, you're taking a negative thought and you're like, eh, not, not. you're challenging the negative thought. Instead of challenging what we typically do is we challenge the positive thought. Challenge the negative thought and be like, eh, I don't really think so. I think I could do better than that. It's a different take on life. It's different than anyone else. Everyone's trying to go with negative thoughts and they stick with it. But I guarantee you, the way to be happier, excel, have less anxiety is to challenge your negative thoughts and push those positive thoughts gonna kill it today work's gonna be awesome you know I'm excited to see how we did for the month of February um, gonna be profitable gonna have a good time excited to eat my leftovers oh man my leftovers are fire their ribs which is amazing all these kind of things are way better than just going into a Monday being like damn it it's 550 I'm tired and stuff like that gotta enjoy every day Every day you have to be a little bit better. The biggest goal for me and the biggest goal for you guys is should be to leave this earth a little bit better than when you were brought into it. So, hope you guys have a great day. You guys enjoyed this video. Peace.